I have been eagerly anticipating the return of Undone. I love season one, and it is finally time to talk about season two now that it's here. So let's jump into that right now. What's up folks and welcome back to the channel today for another review and today we're going to be talking about season 2 of Undone coming to Prime Video April 29th. Now I was privileged enough to be able to receive the entire season early in advance and I'm here to talk about it just without spoilers folks. So you know nothing to fear so that way when you get a chance to check it out you can check it out in the entirety and the appreciation that I had. I gotta say I was hooked. One episode in, I could not stop watching. There were so many good moments in this season, so many emotions, and whether these are factors you can relate to, which you're just going to have even a greater appreciation of it, or if you just have just any bit of heart, you're going to feel something in this season. So just be ready, because I was just, whew. I had to decompress a few episodes, because, you know, I feel like it's dealing with very normal and human elements you know there is a sci-fi aspect to this but it is very much normal family matters that is involved here um and that's where truly the heart of this series really drives down i mean season one alma who was uh nearly in a car accident uh died from a car accident then realizes she has abilities and this abilities is basically her being able to kind of navigate through time you know um time travel uh, instead of dr strange with his portal she's using sort of clouds and whatnot and in this she decides to uh you know have this relationship with her dad um who had passed uh when she was young and now that she's able to have this relationship she's starting to discover more about his death and i'm going to add a little bit more to that because not only about his death but truly about his life's work so going into season two, it almost felt like you kind of turned a page on everything season one. I highly suggest you watch season one because for a moment I'll say, well, maybe season two could just be a standalone. But the way how things come full circle, you absolutely have to watch season one. Like there is some crazy revelations that really connects everything that I was kind of just wild at because... I, for a minute, I kind of felt like for all the momentum, all the emotion, all the anticipation that season one had built, I felt like going into season two, it was quickly dismissed into like new storytelling. But no, 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 no. It does come full circle. So, yeah, you have to totally check out season one. And you have time, folks, uh, as this review drops a little bit early before um, it is released. So I'm preparing you now. It is eight episodes. They're 30 minutes each. So it's a quick easy binge and you will be hooked i guarantee you with that but going into season two alma again played by rosa salazar she is still doing what she does best she <laughs> loves investigating things even i mean she's the one that will you know will keep ticking and ticking until she eventually gets what she wants and she's 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 very very dedicated i think she loves her family um, and, and she just does whatever she can to try to help. And, you know, we sort of see her battling acceptance in season one, but season two, I feel like she has a lot more confidence and she exactly knows what she wants to do. Um, but with this, it now pivots from her learning about her dad's death to learning about her mom's past. Her mom, Camilla has been acting really weird. Like things have kind of been different in the household and camilla's personality has definitely been sh sort of shady and questionable and that's not going to stop alma because she's going to get down to the bottom of it but in this season she actually convinces her sister becca to kind of tag along in this and while you have these two sisters who basically have been they're different but for them to have like a common goal for once and then this common goal to learn more about their mother and figure out what the mother's been up to um we see the dynamics of their relationship truly change but beyond that we learn a lot about becca becca's story arc this season is super intriguing uh becca soon to be married 
um, is definitely having issues with transparency and communication. And that seems to be a normal thing within this family because there seems to be just a web of just secrets and just things that people are sort of avoiding. But with somebody like Alma and your family, the, the, the truth is soon to be revealed. So, like, it is a lot of reflection of all characters in this, but it is also just a lot of just folks um, digging and digging and digging until they can eventually uh, reveal the truth behind things. And, and that's where you start to see uh, the sisters really digging deep into this web of complex memories and then, like, the motivations behind sort of these things and... You know, not only have how that may have influenced things of the past, but truly what makes the difference today, which is the interesting thing, because when you start to explore her mother's past and then her father's past and then their grandparents and you start to see how like there is sort of a connection amongst all these characters, you know, um, and, and, and with the connection of these characters, you start to see how these characters are more similar and, and more like than they ever could imagine. You know, you start to see traits within all of these characters or within this family sort of go down through generations, you know what I mean? And it's just interesting because, like, for instance, you, you start to see Alma, who tends to be... Alma and Becca, shall I say, who not only inherits traits of their mother, but of their grandparents and Alma, like her mom and her dad and all sorts of different things. And there's so many more secrets that are going to be revealed that are truly going to change things going forward so the sisters they are on pursuit to figure out where their mother is up to her mother's receiving mysterious calls shady type of business leaving town and they're going to get down to the bottom of it and with just a fantastic cast of folks who are just really emotional provoking emotion provoking like you're going to feel something. You're going to be completely invested into what happens with these characters. Uh, what and and in this journey, you know, you're 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 also going to be pulling for them because you want to see this family work. You want to see them um, really achieve the happiness they all desire. And and that's just amongst some of the other things because the biggest theme here is everybody just wants the truth. That's just it. Everybody just wants the truth. So. Oh man, this was so good. I, I, so many things I gotta kind of tiptoe around. Uh, there are major secrets and revelations in this season, and it's truly some that are going to change the landscape of this going forward because I cannot wait for season three. And who's to say where season three kind of goes? Because with this and with time travel and with like, shall we say, alternate universes. You just never know what they might want to do. And I just am intrigued by that. I think the whole idea of time travels and alternate and alternate uh, dimensions is so intriguing, but it's still so entertaining. And um, I also got to say, when th also with this being sort of a deep and sort of a heavy season at times in terms of emotion, there's still a very good comedic factor to it. Rosa Salazar does a fantastic job into making sure that there's balance in that. Um, because yeah, some episodes get, man, I just felt my heart just getting bigger and bigger and bigger, ready to explode with emotions because of some of the events that were happening. And, um, yeah, it's just good to be able to have that little bit of balance with the comedic relief at times with Alma, who was just always just, and, and Rosa, you know, just very fantastic. Her personality, she radiates and it's just like the perfect casting and character for her. And it just really makes this work. And then Bob Odenkirk obviously is legend. We know how that is. So there's that. But yeah, check it out. You check out season one, prepare for season two, and you totally check out season two. And then you jump in the comments and let me know your thoughts about season two when you do. But man, this was this was exciting, and I can't wait to hear your all thoughts about it. But until then, stay tuned for more reviews very soon. Bell.